I think every entrepreneur would probably say the same thing, have, have more of a work-life balance. Mm-hmm. I, think, I think most entrepreneurs that are really successful don't really have one. Mm-hmm. And I, I don't think that's healthy. Uh, but I, do, I also think that if you really want to become great at something, I mean, really good at something, it takes a lot of work. It's okay to be average, all right, but if you really want to be at the top of your game, you're going to, have to put a lot of work in. And by doing that, you're going to sacrifice some things. Mm-hmm. So if I had to look back, I would have told myself, slow it down. There's some things that are probably just as important, right? Mm-hmm. And change is hard to do, but um, I think I was just so focused on this one thing, some things I missed. The problem is I can't slow down now. Um, I'm probably more fascinated with it now at my age than I was in my 20s. Hmm. It's, um, I'm I'm curious. And I think that's what I loved about being in the arts was that, you know, artists don't retire. Mm -hmm. They, they They create to the end of their lives and that's what I wanted to do. It didn't make sense to retire. It didn't make sense to work five days a week. It didn't make sense to work your life and then wait for retirement. None of the stuff, all, everything that Tim was saying didn't make sense to me either. But he brought it all together and shook up a whole generation. Right. But I felt the same way, and I'm older than Tim, so I felt the same way. Mm-hmm. I think that's how we found each other. <laughs>